David here with Guide Recommended Winter Fly Fishing for Bluegill. I thought I'd do a little challenge, particular because I had built over the winter a fly rod. I haven't caught any fish with it yet. I really built it for kind of summertime trout fishing. It's a four way, eight and a half foot. I thought the perfect thing to do would be to take it out, try to catch some bluegills on this cold winter day. It's about 44 degrees and I'm out at the lake. It's kind of a gray day. So we're gonna do a little bit of a challenge this time as well. I just brought one fly with me. I've got an indicator two or three split shot and what's called a greeny weenie. Wonderful fly for bluegill, wonderful fly for brook trout. We're gonna take this out and give it a whirl. The other thing I wanna do is invite folks to sign up for my newsletter. In the next week or so, I'm gonna be doing a survey and going to give away 20 of these fly boxes. Mail them out to folks that are on my newsletter that complete the survey we're gonna have going on. Link below to sign up for my Fishy Friday newsletter. It's a completely free newsletter. It starts out with some dry fly instructions, got some downloads, and then we just go into fishy stuff. We've got a brag board, we've got conservation projects, would really love it if you signed up for the Fishy Friday newsletter and be part of my giveaway. Coming down to the lake, we've got our greeny weenie with a bead head on it. Then maybe two and a half feet up from that is our indicator. I'm going to actually just try this in this area here. Might as well. Down to the side here, maybe you can see a little better. So we've got success with the greeny weenie. This cold winter day, looking up with some bluegill. One fly challenge. Or bluegill with the greeny weenie. Let's try for another one. All right, we got another hookup with our greeny weenie. Subtle, subtle takes. Winter bluegill fishing. All right, I think this might be my last one. I got about a dozen casts in and I'm getting cold. Got another little bluegill with our greeny weenie. Success with our one fly challenge. I'm cold. I'm really cold. It's about 40-ish. I only brought a little light jacket. Winter bluegill fishing, the greeny weenie. Success. Brook trout, wonderful fly. Bluegill, wonderful fly. Maybe we'll go back and tie up this fly. Start out with a size 16 mustad nymph hook. Get an appropriately sized bead. I'm gonna use fluorescent green chenille. I've already got our bead on the hook. Fluorescent green 140 denier thread. Put a little base down. Get my chenille. Pull off a little bit of the chenille and expose that cord. I like to put a little bit of head cement on the tie-in point just to make sure that holds on because this is one of the primary things to hold on that loop. 
that you see. So tie that in, I'm getting my fingers out of the way. I like to tie it in on only the cord and have it right at you know our, our barb. So only the cord on the chenille form a loop, let's say about a three eighths of an inch. Three good wraps, pinch wrap to hold that in place. One, two, three, kind of lock that in, wrap forward, All right, and then just spiral, touching each wrap of the chenille. Try to give it a little bit of a tight pull, keeps that body slim. And then as that chenille touches that bead head, I will put two loose wraps on, pull it tight, snip, wrap it in a little bit more. Because I've got this fluorescent green thread, it will blend in nicely, whip finish. Set that knot. Cut, we're done. That is the greeny weenie.